Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your JMIN examination. This question came on 27th August 2021 in shift 2. So let us see this question first. Question says a figure shows a rod AB. So this is the rod which has been given to you. Okay, which bent in the form of 120 degree circular arc of radius capital R. Okay, so and this radius is capital R which has been given to you. This is an arc which subtends an angle of 120 degree at the center. Okay, a charge of minus Q is uniformly distributed over the rod AB. So it has been given charge of minus Q and which is uniformly distributed over its entire length. So what is the electric field E at the center of the curvature O that you need to find out. We already know that if I'll take a arc just like this and at its center it subtends an angle of theta and it has got a charge of Q so the electric field at this particular point is given by relationship E is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r sine theta by 2. So this is a relationship of a magnitude of electric field at this particular point. If it is plus Q charge so the entire electric field the, the net electric field would, will be in this particular direction. If it is, neg if it is negative charge the electric field, field would have been in this particular directions. Okay, because electric field always originates from positive charge and it terminates on negative charge. If it is negative, so this electric field direction would be this and if it is positive, the electric field direction would be outward. Okay, and its magnitude is this much. What is lambda over here? Lambda is a charge, linear charge density. Okay, so this is, its value is nothing but charge per unit, charge per unit length. So, this whole charge has been distributed to a length of, what is its length? what is the length of the, uh, this arc? It is equal to 2 pi r by 3 because this angle subtended is 120 degree and for whole 360 degree the, uh, the circumference would be 2 pi r. So this much of length would be 2 pi r by 3. It is one third of the two whole circumference. Okay, so, so the charge distribution and the linear charge density will be 2 pi r 3 into q. So this is a linear charge density that you must get. Charge per unit length. So this much of length acquires a charge of this. So multiplied. So 1 meter length will acquire this much of charge. Don't you think? So we'll be putting the value of all these parameters and eventually we'll be getting the value of electric field. So C electric field is already given as lambda will be putting the value of lambda will be getting the equation like 3 q 2 pi r so this is the value of lambda and multiplied by 2 pi epsilon naught r again sine theta by 2 what is value of theta over here it is 120 degree so theta by 2 would be 60 degree okay so then eventually you will be getting 3 q what is sine 60 degree? It is root 3 by 2. So here 2 would also be multiplied in this expression. So eventually you will be getting 2 to the 4 to the 8. So 8 pi square epsilon naught and r square. This is the magnitude that we are getting. And since it is a negative charge, so the electric field would be in to uh, would be in plus i direction. So it would be so which answer would be correct? 3 root 3 q by 8 pi square epsilon r square. So our second option would be the correct option and it has to be in the i cap direction because the electric field, the net electric field is in the x direction. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.